Hey, what's good, y'all? It's King Z, and I am back here on Payday 2 with another top five for y'all. So this one is going to be the top five HUDs. These are in no particular order just because HUDs are really going to be based on your personal preference, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, HUDs really make the game, you know what I'm saying? If a game has a bad HUD, it just it kind of throws you off, you know? So hopefully, uh, if you're looking for a HUD, you like one of these, and you can go download it, you know what I'm saying? Links are going to be in the description. So anyways, let's get into the first HUD. Like I said, these are in no particular order. All right, so the first HUD I got here is Poco HUD. Um, as you can see here, it's got my stamina there in the top left. It also shows um, in the top middle what song is playing. Um, you can see it has like stats down there, all the kills and shit like that, detection, um, I think that's what that goes to, so I'm not uh, exactly sure, but it shows your level, you can see I'm um, Infamy 40, level 82 right there, good information to have, has FPS in the bottom left there, just a really nice HUD, if you see here we can go to the customizations, if I can find them, alright, I can't find the fucking customizations of my, uh, mods but uh that's a that's a cool little interaction type shit you can see my interaction circle it's kind of fucking big as fuck um and then it like spins out like that that's kind of cool but um yeah this poco hud i'm gonna have links to these in the description like i said you can kind of see what's going on there there should be a way to customize this in the menus i'll go check that out real quick and see if i can find that just so because i've had this uh HUD before a while ago and i'm pretty sure there was customization so i'm gonna go see if i can find that shit real quick all right i cannot find the customizations nowhere i'm pretty sure there should be or maybe there's not i don't know i haven't used poco hud in a while but um yeah, to the creator, uh, let me know what's going on with that, because, yeah, no customizations in my mod options menu, that's where you usually can, like, customize your HUD and stuff at, so, um, yeah, let me know what's up with that, but, yeah, Poco HUD, just a really, uh, clean HUD in general, so, um, yeah, that's number five, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so, up um, next here, we have Hotline Miami HUD, uh, a lot of y'all motherfuckers not gonna like this one. But, um, you know, for you jacket players, I think it'll work very nice. Uh, the background should be different. I don't know what's up with that. And the cursor should be different. Maybe I didn't uninstall. I mean, maybe I didn't install everything right. But, um, yeah, the background should be Hotline Miami theme. And also the cursor should have, like, jackets theme on it. But, um, yeah, as you can see in the menu here, everything's green and purple. The Hotline Miami theme. No, I'm not streaming, man. Uh... I gotta figure out how to turn these fucking notifications off and shit. But um, yeah, as you can see, uh, in mod options we have the customization. So um, yeah, I think uh, yeah, I think I had these because I had this HUD before for a mod showcase, I think. So I kind of turned some shit off here and there. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go in game and uh, show y'all what it looks like in there. All right, so here it is in game. I kind of I like the colors that they use for this shit. I like the blue and purple, the green. It all just all just works real nice. Here's the um, what the fuck is wrong with my mouse button? That was the, um, what's it called, interaction circle. Very nice looking, not sure what the fuck it is. Maybe if you played Hotline Miami, unlike me, you'd fucking recognize that shit. But, um, yeah, let's go into the customizations here. I don't know why I couldn't find this for Poco HUD, but, yeah. You can hear, uh, enable mod overrides. Oh, that's the thing. I didn't have the, you can see the custom textures shit. I didn't install the, uh, mod override stuff. If you do that, then the background and cursor will be different. So, yeah, sorry I didn't do that. My bad. You can get custom text font. That's required as a gamer start, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, you got a combo counter here. I think that uh, does shit with your melee. Uh, yeah, you see you have your menu options. You can auto-pick cards, skip black screens, all that shit. Uh, this is your player stuff. You can see all that. Custom everything. Uh, ECM icon, timer. You can see the uh, ECM timer. Maybe I don't have that enabled. I don't fucking know. Um, if we go back into there, you got your assault tab, uh, tab stats, you can get custom tab stats, you can enable this, so if you tab, you have, uh, that custom, like, all that stuff, you know what I'm saying, don't know what to call that shit, uh, what else we got here, you got the hints, you got waypoints, custom waypoints, green civilian pacifier marker, you got custom chat, I can't chat because I'm in an offline game, a timer, presenter, suspicions, uh, carry panel, objectives, and you got custom subtitles here, so a lot of customizations in Hotline Miami HUD, um, <laughs> I wish I fucking installed the uh, mod overrides shit, so then you could see the um, background menu and cursor, but unfortunately I forgot that existed, so um, 
yeah, that's it for this side. Uh, I'm going to move on to the next spot. All right, so at the number two spot, I have BL2 HUD. This model was actually uh, discontinued by the original owner and then picked up again by Test1. So big shout out to Test1 for picking up on this shit. And big shout out to the original creator. I'm sorry, I'll have like the names and stuff at the bottom of the screen. I don't, I haven't, I don't remember all that shit, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, Borderlands 2. One of my favorite fucking games of all time, you know what I'm saying? Borderlands, one of my favorite series is to play, you know what I'm saying? Played them all, so this heist, uh, not heist, HUD is just kind of special to me, you know what I'm saying? It has, like, everything looking good. It's got, like, the custom, um, shows your perk deck down there, as it would if, uh, like, Borderlands 2 class mods. It's got your level and infamy down there. And that's also an XP meter down there, and that shit works. And I'm pretty sure uh, with this HUD, it levels up as you kill enemies. You don't gotta wait till the end of the um, heist. I could be wrong, uh, but I'm not exactly too sure. It's been a while since I've actually used this HUD. Uh, it's got like your skill down there, so you can see it has two ECM jammers. I put one down, there goes one, you know what I'm saying? It's got your armor and health right there, just very nice. If you play Borderlands 2, this HUD is basically. You know, it's a fucking copy of that shit, you know what I'm saying? So, in the customizations here, uh, you got your player panel right there. You can change the scale of it. I'm going to keep, i uh, just make it fucking big so you can see that shit. Uh, your prefix, that would be that down there based on level, I think. Yeah, and uh, XP panel behavior, uh, normal behavior, disable XP gain. So, that's the XP thing. If you want to gain XP from, like killing enemies and stuff through heist and stuff and you can do that so yeah i have mine disabled or disable xp gain at max i don't know what the fuck this is honestly uh but i thought you could like level this thing up with kills i'm not exactly too sure though uh you could change your prefix based on your level so my prefix is savage so if i change that i think it'll change i don't i don't fucking know uh, if I do, like, I don't know, based on custom set, I don't fucking know, bro. It should change the prefix, though. Maybe I gotta re-enter the game. That would make sense. But, yeah, let me put that back to that. Change this back down to one. Okay, you have your teammate panels here. I obviously don't have teammates, so it's not gonna show, but just like Borderlands 2, it'll have your teammates over there. And I'm not exactly sure what this is. But, yeah, that might be the tab stats. I don't know, but, yeah. BL2 HUD. Fucking love this HUD. Reminds me a lot of Borderlands 2, obviously. You know what I'm saying? It's got your uh, pocket UCM right there. It's got the cooldown on it. Just perfectly fucking made, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, had to get the number three spot just because it's special to me, you know. So, um, yeah, let's move on to number two. Okay, coming in at number two, we have Wolf HUD. This used to be my go-to HUD back in the day until I changed to what I use now, and that's going to be number one, obviously. But, um, yeah, Wolf HUD is the thing you use if you want to have all the fucking information you need. You know what I'm saying? You got your guns right there. You can change how that looks. Uh, you can change your fire mode. It tells you what it's on. Uh, you know, if I go to the secondary, same shit. It's got your kills accuracy down there. I don't know why this music is picking up so heavy. It's got your equipment down there, cable ties, all that. Um, stamina meter, detection, everything, you know. It's got fucking everything. Um, if you go into the customizations here, um, you know, you customize your player panel. This HUD, like, I couldn't, I couldn't have made this top five without putting Wolf HUD in here, you know what I'm saying? No top five is complete without Wolf HUD. But, yeah, it's got everything. Your player panel, use custom HUD right there. Teammate panel, kill counter options. You can change the colors of all that shit, you know what I'm saying? If I want my shit to be, um, light red, there, just change the light. That's kind of fucking hard to see. Um, I don't know where that shit, oh, there it is. Uh, let's change that to, like, purple. There you go, you see the purple down there. Um, use real ammo, so that shows the ammo left, not taking the rounds in your current mag into account. You got chat options, you got suspicion options, you can change the scale, uh, assault banner, damage indicator, so when you shoot an enemy, it should, like, fucking pop up. Let's just throw in a bulldozer right there. So yeah, you got your damage indicators right there, all that, you know what I'm saying? This is the HUD for motherfuckers that want to know in formation used to use this a lot back in the day i had my fucking clean screen cluttered with all this shit you know what i'm saying so um 
Yeah, you got all that. Um, that's just in the fucking general HUD. You still got all this shit. And like I said, damage indicator, enemy health bars. You can disable those. Enemy damage pop up. Like pretty much everything you can ena enable or disable to uh, make this HUD suit you and what you want. You know. So you got HUD info. You got your buffs right here. I have. Uh, well, I guess I have those on. So any buffs will show up on the screen there. Uh, show all that shit. I can't go through fucking everything. That'll take forever. But um. Yeah, you got your interaction here, you got your circle, your scale, tech scale, reload timer, melee, fucking everything. I have those two disabled. Um, you got your tab stats here, you change your fucking clock mode. Uh, everything's in a rainbow, it shows your mask right there. So if I go to the tab, you can see I got like daily jobs right there, monthly jobs, Alt Stones Heritage for some reason. Um, it just shows like all your fucking stats down there. You can see how many total like enemies I've killed and shit. It's fucking crazy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's got my mask there. Um, what else do we got here, man? There's just so much with Wolf HUD, bro. That's why it's one of the most downloaded fucking HUDs motherfuckers got, you know what I'm saying? Inventory tweak options, enable burst mode, sentry auto AP mode, feedback, shape charge suppression, so you can only, uh, put, well, it prevents fucking accidents with shape charges, you know, shit happens. Key card door suppression. Show contractor heat. Not sure what the fuck that means, but you got real weapon names, insert box names, all that shit, you know. Uh, then you got skip it. So you can skip black screens, instant restart. So you don't got to wait for that five seconds. Stat screen speed up, auto pick card. It'll pick whatever fucking card you want. So, yeah, just a really fucking good HUD overall. One of the most customizable HUDs you can have. So, uh, really good for people who, like, don't really know what they want and want to have, like, the customization option, you know what I'm saying? Because right now I got, like, minimal stuff, you know what I'm saying? But you can have, like, a bunch of shit on your fucking screen. How I had it back in, like, 2017, you know what I'm saying? It was fucking crazy. But, um, yeah, Wolf HUD couldn't make this list without it. So, yeah, let's move on to the number one spot. Y'all probably already know what the fuck it is. Alright, coming in at the number one spot, last but not motherfucking least, my go-to HUD, MUI. I've been using this one for years, fucking loved it, you know what I'm saying? Very minimal, hence the name, minimalistic UI. But, um, yeah, motherfuckers ask me all the time what HUD I use. MUI, bro. All the fucking time, been using it for years, love this shit. Uh, it's got a good amount of customizations. Obviously not as much as a uh, wolf hud because you know it is trying to be minimal. You can change the size of your player panel. Obviously, uh, that's kind of fucking big. But if you have an eyesight problem, maybe maybe that's good for you. Got my shit on forty. There you go. You can just if you right click it, you can uh, type that motherfucker in. I uh, don't know why these decimals are fucking here, but let's get that back there. Change your equipment dock to where you want that shit. You can see it's kind of moving right there. Equipment rows. You can change how many rows you have. Clean names, uh, I just have mine set to the character limit, revives, warrant, absorb, radial, uh, I don't use maniac, but if you do, I guess that's good, uh, display a red health indicator when damage is taken, so like on Call of Duty, I guess that makes you like screen a little bit red, uh, you got your stamina circle right there, I like to keep mine very nice and clean, you know, you got your team panel, obviously can't show that because I don't have a team, <laughs> player and team, you change the gap space between your panels, uh, colored health, that's cool. I have my shit in uppercase because that's just how I do it. If you don't, then it'll just show your name like that. Uh, oops. Ammo display. You know, you can change all that. I'm just going to try to keep this how I have it. So if anybody... Uh, people ask me for my HUD all the time. So if you want to copy mine and have your shit just like this, then, you know, you can do that shit. Uh, these are still on default. You got your margins right here. I just didn't want to fuck with these because I thought I'd fuck uh, some shit up. Uh, you got your bags right there. You can change those if you want to. You got your chat size. Uh, that's right there, you know. Change that. Make it really tiny or really fucking big. I don't know what was that. I'm just going to go for... That's good enough. Okay. You got custody shit right there. You got your interaction circle. I have mine set pretty small. I don't like having that fucking huge interaction circle that this game has. Um, you got labels here. Uh, I'm not really sure where those are at, but they're there. Uh, notifications here. So I have my notifications over there. You can see those right there. You can see um, you got your gap. So you can change how big the gap in between them is change if you want them horizontal or vertical uh, I don't know what the fuck obverse means but cool uh, you got the duration right there it was portals and borders and simple animation play event sounds uh, you got positioning 
uh, suspicion. So you got your uh, circle right there. And I like on this, um, when you're customizing stuff, even if it doesn't, if you, like, like chat, I can't chat because I'm not in a multiplayer game. I can't fucking see my teammate play uh, panels because I'm not in a multiplayer game. But with this, uh, even if you click the option, uh, like, I obviously can't get detected because I'm in this lobby with no enemies, but, um, it still pops up the, like, circle so I can see how it looks, so I fucking love that about this shit. Change your subtitles there, you can change, like, how many are there, so you know I have six rows, so it'll show up to six. Uh, you got your width there, your opacity here, size. You got voice stuff, uh, I'm not really sure what the fuck that shit is or how to even use that shit. Uh, I didn't know there was, I guess, voice, I don't know how to use the voice commands. Anyway, you got waypoints there. So, um, yeah, some miscellaneous shit. Uh, show the prop to put on your mask. I hate when it tells me how to put on my mask. I've been playing this game for years. I know how to fucking do it. Uh, and then begin hitting, that's cool. You got your reset right there if you want everything back to default. So, um, yeah, MUI. Love this HUD, but you didn't use it for years. Had to make it number one, man, for all you motherfuckers that ask me what HUD I'm using. This is the one. So, um, yeah, I'm going to wrap this video up. Thanks for everybody that came through and watched, man. Appreciate that shit. Leave a like if you enjoyed. All the um, HUDs will be in the description with download links, like I said. So you can get, uh, pick the one you want and download that motherfucker. So, um, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new for more uh, videos like this shit and other dumbass videos I make. And, um, yeah, subscribe if you are new. I'll see y'all in the next video.